Well, this is the first time that the barn owls have actually nested on this site and we're really excited to have two young that are doing so well. We're absolutely delighted that the birds are on site. Uh, they appear to be using the grass margins and the beetle bank to find enough voles to feed the chicks. Barn owls, I think they're one of everybody's favourite birds and the fact that they're nesting in the box that the NFU gave us, I think that's really great. They're, they're a super bird. Absolutely delighted the box uh, the NFU provided when the RSPB took over the farm here. The napwell is, is now being used and actually we've got some chicks in the box. What we've done this year is to ring the barn owl chicks and that's very important because the information that's carried on this ring is individual to each bird and so what we'll be able to do in the future if we catch the birds again is look at how heavy they are and how well they're doing in terms of productivity. We'll be able to look and see how old they are because it's not always very easy to do purely if you capture a bird and you don't have that ring on. Yeah, getting the barn owl back is really good. Uh, every farm should have one I would say but we've also done very well with a whole lot of other farmland birds. Birds like the skylark which have doubled or trebled in numbers here, yellow hammers, linnets, and a whole range of other species, lapwings and yellow wagtails and grey partridge, have all started nesting here for the first time for years and years. I think there's a lot of examples about how education is important. And the more we can explain to farmers how little things can make a difference, um, the more you'll see us build on, I think, which is a whole stream of good work that's already being undertaken education and explaining how small things can make a big impact. What we found from our research and we've looked at lots of individual species is providing a range of habitats so providing good nesting sites, good summer food sites so that's primarily insects and, and in the case of barn owls, mammals and then good winter sites as well is absolutely key to helping a whole range of farmland birds.